Must be Sunday. Here I am, fresh from a workout, ready to talk to you about some of the funny or stupid or otherwise informative things about CMMI and Agile. So today's topic, as promised last week, is going to be everything you thought you knew about CMMI is wrong, or at least it's probably wrong. Where do we come off saying that? Well, let's put it very simply. We have encountered so many organizations that have such bad ideas about what CMMI is that, for the most part, if we apply the Pareto rule, you know, 80-20, 80% 80 of all things can be explained by 20% of the causes and so forth, well, probably 80% of what most people have experienced in the past about CMMI is probably wrong. That seems to work out in the marketplace as well. Things such as the whole business about Agile and CMMI being incompatible, well, we've all figured that out. That's wrong. Things like you have to wait six months to use your processes, where's that from? That was a rule of thumb. That was just something that applied to some organizations that had certain types of processes, that had certain types of projects. Waiting six months, wrong. It might take 12 months for a certain organization. It might take three Especially if you're doing an Agile project, you could be done in however many sprints you can fit into a box. I mean, seriously, where does this stuff come from? It's simple. It comes from a lot of history with a lot of organizations that looked and felt a certain way. Yeah, CMM, when it was established, was established in the 80s, for crying out loud. Who heard of the Internet in the 80s? Raise your hand. There may be... No one of you, okay? Very few people had any idea about what was going to come starting in the early 90s. If you weren't working for, surprise of all things, the U.S. Department of Defense, specifically DARPA and their friends out in California. So if you didn't actually were, were part of that whole Internet explosion that arrived on the scene in the late 80s, early 90s, at the best, with email programs that required that you install special clients just to get to, to a VAX machine to go see these text messages, okay? So when CMM was originally thought through, it was thought through with certain types of organizations. And when the CMMI came along, nearly a decade later, or actually over a decade later, a lot had changed since the CMM was put together. But the problem is the people who were early adopters in the government, in defense contracting, in the integrators, in large aerospace corporations, a lot of those early people back from the late 80s, early 90s, they were using CMM and later CMMI in a certain way. And that established a certain pattern for how to use CMM and then later CMMI that really was full of stuff that wasn't actually in the book, okay? If you read CMM and read CMMI, there's very clearly spelled out what is and isn't there. You can also read the appraisal method called the method definition document. It's free. It's on the SEI website. There's just stuff that's not there. It clearly tells you what's required, what's not required, what's guidance in both the CMMI and in the appraisal method. So if you're in consideration of doing CMMI, you could probably safely forget anything you've heard, anything you've probably even experienced in the past because it's probably wrong. Every organization we come to, when we talk to them about CMMI, there's one thing that we get as feedback from every organization we talk to. You gave us information we didn't know before, and the information we thought we knew was wrong. Now, that's not 100%. Not everyone has had that experience. But what's really gratifying are those organizations that say, you know, we thought that what we were hearing and what we were doing just didn't seem to make sense. It doesn't seem to make sense that we need to count pages to estimate the documents that we write, that we need lines of code as the only measure of an estimate for a software project. That doesn't work everywhere. That's not required. Where do they get this stuff? They get it because a lot of the folks that came first, that's how they did things. And instead of 
innovating. Instead of using engineering to design processes, people simply took what well, did before and used it again and again and again and again like a big rubber stamp. That doesn't work. If you really want to understand what CMMI is, let me recommend a website to you. It's called the CMMI FAQ, spelled just like it sounds, www.cmmifaq, all one word, dot info. Why? It's informative. If you have any questions, go there and contact us. Good luck with CMMI. We'll talk about what your prior people may be doing to undermine your current CMMI effort. So your prior experience, and we'll talk about that next week. Thanks a lot. Good luck, everybody.